verbally would probably make a little more sense than what I typed it out to be. Let me just find the right screen. Alive, so everything you say. All right. So the situation for this mission is NATO forces have started sending naval forces through the strait, um, referring to the Persian Gulf. Due to the move, a local anti-American force started putting silkworm systems in the area. Now, we're not sure how many they've put in the area, but they have started putting at least one. Now, as well as you guys know, if there's one, there's at least more. So the primary mission is we are to move to the Lark Island Harbor, where we had last known the uh, silkworm system getting shipped to. We are to remove the silkworm system before it can fire on the Stennis, since the Stennis is moving through the strait. Our secondary mission is to actually advance forward to an island to the northeast of the Lark Island, um, Lark Island and destroy a hub for the, uh, uh, the anti-American forces. Now, this hub consists of fuel depots, anti-air threats, and a huge warehouse. Now, so since it is a huge warehouse, it is actually protected from anti air, sorry, from air threats. So if you do attack it, you need to delay your bombs on the explosion so they can penetrate farther in. Um, known threats. We have triple A in the areas of both targets. There are possible man pads all throughout this entire region. So I would recommend you guys staying at a higher altitude. Whether you're taking whatever bird you're taking, try to maintain at least 10,000 or higher for altitude. Now, rumor has it that the local anti-American forces actually have fast movers in the area, and they will be coming from the north. Now, we don't know what types or what they are, besides they could be coming from the north, if they do come at all. So be warned of that. Um, it looks like everybody's taking 18s and 16s, so we should be golden for any kind of threat. We should be able to hold our own, so I'd recommend taking some type of anti-air or sorry, some uh, anti-air missiles of some sort. But our targets are also ground targets. Since we have two flights, we have Charlie Flight and Delta Flight, 18s and 16s respectively, we need to coordinate what we're going to take to do what objective. We have a primary objective and a secondary objective, and we have a, to make sure we survive, which the anti-air threats will try to prevent that. There's four of us, so there's two 18 pilots and two 16 pilots. Who wants to actually lead the mission, though? We're it. We're it. This is the four of us. You don't have... <laughs> We're uh, it. Yep, nobody, apparently not. nobody else so far. That's fine. You don't have um, any pictures or anything? What we're supposed to... Sorry, uh, no pictures. Um, Stannis, you guys are about 50 nautical miles south of the island where we're attacking. Um, 16s, you guys are about 40 nautical miles south of the objective we're attacking. You're both coming from the south to the island just to your north, steer point or waypoint one, respectively. Waypoint or steer point two, respectively, is your secondary target, and three would be your, um, your um, what do you call it, Jar Jarfalot Air Support. That's where we're going to proceed once we complete primary and secondary objectives. I have no pictures, but once you get in, if you look at the map, you'll actually see where it's at, respective to you. It's just to the north. Yeah, servers up, games paused. Copy that. I'm jumping in VR real quick. If you guys want to, if you're already connected, go ahead and slot in your spots. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of spots. The spots are just representing people that could have joined. It's not necessary for all slots to be taken. So. Anybody got any last minute questions before whoever the leader is takes over the mission? I'm just telling you your objectives, not how you're committing to them. Uh, I think you can, I'm good. All right. Who wants yes, to actually many, take? I'll probably end up leading this and I haven't listened much. Hang on a second. While I'm getting... All right. I prefer my missions with SRS than I do without them. So we'll connect to the Viper server. Um, we'll determine flight channels either in game or we can do it now. I guess that'd be up to the mission lead. Well, I have it set to 251 as primary, and then your flight channels are different. But we can change those to whatever we see fit. All right, hey. I'm back. Hey, it's a Fletch. What's up, man? Hey, sorry. Just had just landed no. on another mission. <laughs> You're good, buddy. We haven't actually started yet. We're all connecting. I was running a little late. 
So here's what the mission entails, in case you don't know. So NATO forces have started sending naval forces through the Strait of the Persian Gulf. Um, due to the move, a local anti-American force has started setting up silkworm systems in the area. Our primary objective is to move into Lark Island Harbor to remove the silkworm systems before they can fire on the Stennis. Um, for you 18 boys, you're taking off from the Stennis, so it's your primary objective to your fucking vessel. Secondary objective is to move, um, once we hit that uh, silkworm system on Lark Island, is to move northeast of that area to another island and start destroying the hub for the anti-American forces. Now, once primary and secondary objectives are completed, we are to head northeast to Jaffalot Air Force. Excuse me. Um, known threats are AAA in the area on both targets, possible man pads throughout the entire region. And there's a rumor of local Op 4 forces from the anti American forces stationed to the north, not actually known of which air base. So they could come from literally anywhere from the north. That was a very quick and brief overview. Do you have any questions? So for the F-18s, the uh, primary target for the silkworms, right? For both objectives, primary target is the silkworm. 16s, the two-flight 16s, is actually meant to uh, help with the, silk, or the silkworms to prevent them attacking American forces, which would be, in that case, the Stannis. Okay. I'm going to run to the, to the head real quick. I'll be right back. Go ahead. Yep, I'm going to do that also. Go ahead and take hey, Rose, does, your, does Otis want to play? I don't know if he's still busy. I don't think he's around, but uh, if he's around... I'm going to jump up and ask him, see if he wants to play. Oh, he's in right the back. I didn't know he was here. I'll jump up and ask him real quick. Yeah, bring him Just, in. Hey, Phil. I'll be right back. All right, Go Otis. Ahead. I will reiterate what I've already covered with them. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. So, mission brief requirements and all that good jazz. The mission name is Silkworms. Now, we haven't discussed the mission leader yet. It's probably either going to be Fletch or Zeramon. So, here's the uh, background. NATO forces have started sending uh, naval forces through the strait, strait of the Persian Gulf. Through the move, a local anti-American force started putting Silkworm systems up in the area. Our primary objective is to move to Lark Island Harbor, where we know, we've got intel, hard intel, that a silkworm system has been set up, and remove it so it cannot fire on the Stannis. The 18, the flight of 18s, is coming from the Stannis to help uh, assist the 16s with that objective. Your secondary direct objective is to move just the northeast of the primary to another small island, and there is a hub, fuel depot, that we need to take out from the anti-American forces, whatever they want to call themselves at the moment. Once we do a primary and secondary objectives, we're to move to the northeast again, the Jaffalet Air Force. Our threats known in the area are AAA um, on both target areas and possible man pads throughout the entire region. So watch your altitude, and I would suggest maintaining above 10,000. The mission commander will specify different if needed. Um, rumor has it, though, that the local Op 4 forces or the anti-American forces have... Um, Fast movers stationed somewhere to the north, so expect possible air contact. The mission will take place in SRS. Um, let me check the version here real quick. What version are you guys running? 1.0704 or something like that. 04? 03. 03? Uh, is it backwards three. compatible? I think, I think 10704 is. It is compatible uh, with 10703. Would lack of being... Would lack of being able to use SRS kind of disqualify me from the mission? No, because you'll be in Discord with your flight. Okay. Just for the time being, just to make it easier. Well, he can't. He can't actually run SRS because he's on Linux. So. Well, I get that. But what we'll do for the time being is you will be in a different Discord channel for your flight, yep. so it's not oh. going to disqualify you immediately just because of that. So don't yeah. think oh. that. I know. I was just letting you know that yeah, I'm not going to be able to communicate on that. 
So we're attacking the the silkworms are being set up on the rack island. That's the only one we know of. Now that we've got reports that there's multiple silkworms set up. So if you see a silkworm system, call it out on the default channel of two five one is the. Uh, I have no fucking clue what the hell a silkworm looks like, but okay. A silkworm is a missile, a land-based anti-ship missile system. It's a two-piece system. One's a radar, one's the missile system. It's usually towed by trucks. So it's a two-piece system with a few vehicles near it. Hard to spot from high altitudes. Hence, we're at 10,000 feet, but due because of man pads. So I would suggest taking some type of infrared-looking system. <clears throat> Targeting pod. Exactly. <laughs> Whether it be uh, the uh, lantern or the... Uh, Whatever the other one's called. They look kind of like V1s on a, tr on a truck or something. Where, you know I mean? kind of where is the truck. carrier? All right. So I can't tell you. Don't look at the spectators, please, because it'll show you everything. But if no, you go I'm to your go to your respective bird and go to the map, and I'll yeah, give you... I've, I've done that. I'll give you where, a, where is the, where is the give, general location of the carrier? Okay. You see where Delta Papa is? Yep. Okay. It's about Delta Papa 76. Got you. Okay. That's the rough spot of the carrier. So it's about 10 nautical miles to 20 nautical miles farther in, further to sea than the uh, air base that yeah, we're spawning on. You. We're on Kassab, I got you. Right. And if you see bulls, everybody see bullseye up by the yep. two islands? Yep. Okay. Yep. Lark Island is the southern island. If you zoom in a little bit, you can see it. BQ-37. Yeah, that is Lark is Island. The bigger one. Or yep. The uh, next one up. So that's target one, target two. Target Lark one, Island. Rag, target two, Hormoz. Correct. Um, the harbor is mainly what we're looking for on Lark Island. Uh, we got intel reporting that uh, a, a ship, a uh, vessel, just delivered some type of anti, or some type of missile system to Lark Island. So it's a good, it's a good idea that it's probably near the harbor to shoot down any type of sea vessel. Now it, we. Is a, is a silkworm radar guided? Can you harm it? You cannot harm a silkworm unless it is actively seeking, but you got to be at low altitude to see the seek or see the harm or see the, the radar waves. Oh, okay. So it's like, all right, we're just going to have to. It's, it's basically ground it. radar is the, the idea of it. It picks up something on the sea that shouldn't be there and it sends a signal back. So depending on gotcha, how gotcha. far the Stannis makes it, these systems might actually fire upon the Stannis. If the Stannis does go down, mission is a failure, you'll RTB to uh, Kassab. Is okay. the Stannis sailing like full steam ahead, 20 knots, 26 knots or whatever? Uh, the Stannis has actually slowed its pace down. It's about 5 to 10 knots on the water to give time for the air forces to move in and neutralize the, neutralize right, right. the uh, silkworm. Cool. Um, when you do spawn in, be careful. The airfield is um, littered with uh, aircraft. Or sorry, the parking way is littered with aircraft. So watch how you taxi. For you. Um, 18s, you guys' decks should be clear. They cleared off all their forces. You guys have priority. Um, sad to say, there is no AWACS in the area. We don't have time to launch an AWACS unit as well. So we're going to be going up blind. Okay, so my, right. my understanding is that it'll be Fletch, uh, Private, and... Otis, what are you flying? He's at 18. 18. Otis will be in the 18. Okay, so we got a four flight of 18. Lewis. Yeah, so it'll be 18s, and then you and me in the... Alright, so what I recommend that we do is, um, for my flight, I'm going to have Rudus and Otis. You guys are going to be your own section. And you guys are going to go up primarily cap. Private and I are going to load up um, strike. I recommend the 16s load up mostly strike. That way we can hit both um, alpha and bravo targets. And then we've got a dedicated two ship cap. We can protect ourselves, obviously, but we'll have two aircraft dedicated cap. Yeah, I was figuring we go multi-roll. Like, we'll take some GBUs. You guys, I would recommend you guys take a... a Jams with a teapot and just scope them out and then just drop them. That was kind of where I was thinking too. That are J cells, but I don't think J cells are strong enough. Now to reiterate, this is a um, not a full force. This is a local, basically a local militia. But the silkworm presence is what's making us so alert. So don't expect 
high level Sams or anything like that. Yeah, but JDAMs, if they can if they can spot out where the thing is, they can stay well above man pad range with JDAM. Yeah, I'd say we'll probably stick around fifteen block eighteen and give us plenty of good uh, airspace to maneuver and then see stuff at a good distance and we're out of range of low level SAMs. Yeah, and we can set up a high altitude and Yeah, you guys could probably out. go you guys probably go twenty two, block twenty five, something like that. Just stay out of cons. Yep. So what I recommend is that um, Zira, your flight, go up and hit the northernmost target. We'll hit the southernmost target. So you're we'll saying secondary the, target? Yeah, the northern, okay. yeah, Hormuz Island. We'll take the southern island, uh, Larak Island, and uh, me and Private, and Ruiz and Otis, uh, you guys will be dedicated cap. Um, I think we should probably focus on get making sure those silkworms die. I mean, if we don't get the northern target, they're not going to kill the the carrier. Um. Yeah, I mean, we can do that. Uh, I feel pretty confident that Fletch and I will be able to scope them out, and if we're lacking, we can always call for help. Well, here, here's I'm what just saying do. if we drop our bombs on the northern target and you guys need additional assistance, somebody's got to land and rearm and stuff, and we can just be on station. Here's what we can do then. Multi role protect and scope. Here's what we can do then, Sierra. You, not... you guys will go straight in. You guys will go straight for the rack island. You'll strike, you'll empty your racks, and, and Private and I will stand by. What you don't get from the rack island, we'll clean up. Or go to objective two, the northernmost island. How okay. does that sound? Yeah. Everybody cool? Sounds what do we want to do comms on for? Um... Two, two five, five one is one. common. Two five one is common. You guys can be on whatever you want. We'll actually be in the same Discord. There you go. Um, is the way we'll do it. Just because I can't get mine to update right now. Because uh, webpage not found. Yeah, and uh, Otis does not have uh, SRS at all. SRS. So. That's fine. Unfortunately. So what we'll do is, uh, is there anything else mission-related and planning or anything anybody needs to discuss real quick? So basically what I'm getting at is everybody knows their role. Uh, me and Zeromon will go up in the first, try to destroy the silkworms. Um, I'm guessing it's Private and Fletch are going to be on standby to go in and assist if necessary, and then move to secondary if or when needed. Um, yep. Ruiz and Otis, you're going to be standing by on cap. Yep. Um, so if in if any um, air forces come in to stop our approach, then you guys will deal with them. You guys will essentially be acting as uh, AWACS as well because your SA page will kind of give us yep. an idea yep. where shit's coming from. So if you guys do, to help out the 16, since we don't have an SA page, call it out when you see a bogey. Um, give us information based on anything that could help us survive, and we'll do the same for the ground targets. Yep, yeah, so those that. two guys, those two guys will be the first two in the air. Um, Otis, you and Ruiz take two tanks, and then double up missiles on the outer stations. That way, you can stay up pretty pretty high. Okay, so uh, primarily one twenties then. Oh yeah, one twenties and a nines. All right, sounds good. You don't think a center tank could be uh, good enough? You want which? Uh, I guess. Yeah, I, th I think I think it would be. I'm just afraid that if yeah, hey, let's, we we have to stick around for two different flights of shit flying around. You know what I mean? Yep, exactly. Um, I mean, as, uh, long, as, long, you... as long as we don't have to get into it much, we should be okay with one tank. But if you know, you do what you think you need to do. If you yeah, want I one think, tank, I, that's we'll fine. We'll take two but... tanks. I don't know, um, just to be on the safe side, just in case. All right, just as a Copy. secondary heads up, there is no refuelers in the air as well. Didn't have time to spool yeah. them up either. Yeah, well, I figured there's no AWACS, no refuel. They, they maintenance cancel like an Air Force. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so do you want us to grab pods instead for our center lines? Uh, no, wh whatever Ruiz wants you to grab. I firm. Any there's other no questions mission-related? Before we break into flights, I'm good. 
think we're good to go. Uh, Just uh, drag let me. me know when you're ready to unpause it. All right, go ahead and uh, give us a a small countdown. Let's say a zero. Well, let me know when you're ready. We'll move in our flight. Chain. We're going to take Charlie flight, zero. Well, Sounds take, good. I'm or, sorry, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in. And once we jump, go ahead and give us a 15-second countdown before you pause the mission, if that's fine. That should give everybody time to move in channels. Fair enough. We're moving to Alpha, boys. Sounds good to me. All right. So I'm moving. Go ahead and give a 15-second countdown. Dragon. Uh, mind, yeah, mind dragging me there. Oh, damn it. I wasn't counting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll spawn in on the cat. Pause. Yeah, my flight is delayed for some reason. That is, oh, there we go. Oh, no. What happened? Uh oh. Uh oh. We need to all go back to briefing. Or, uh, all right. Select roll, spectators. Let's uh, have you two, uh, or you want me and him to go ahead and spawn in. Doesn't our cap get up first? Yeah, our cap needs to get up first. I'm spawned in, I'm good. Well, I'll let... Uh, well, I spawned in Lewis on top of somebody, so... And Odie jump in real quick. Yeah. Uh, let me know when to spawn in. Go ahead. Oh, yep, we got okay. three in. Three in and safe. Okay, here I come. Yep. Right, I'm going to load up uh, three fuel just for the hell of it. All right, I'm going... Um, Request rearming. Four by JDAMs and two Copy. tanks and a pod in the middle. You are throwing two tanks on? I am. I bet you we gotta sit around for a minute. But Oda, as soon as you guys are ready, get on the cat. Copy. Complete. We're not super far from the target, so if we need to come back and get more ordnance, we can. Uh, what tie can did you set for the ship? No idea. I bet 74, but. Yeah, we're not far. I thought we'd be a little further than that for some reason. So, uh, waypoint one looks like it's going to be, uh, on target one, Mark Island. Yep. Target one. So that's perfect. So I figure, uh, we'll actually go ahead and go to waypoint two and hang out there as well. I'd say if you guys, I'd say if you guys flow between waypoint one and two, that'd be your route. Yeah, Just flow yeah. in between. It's the 38s, right? The JDMs are 38s. Yep. Yes, sir. Fuck, I gotta get the SRS IP. Oh, yeah. Should be the same. Well, I had a different one in earlier. Oh, copy. It's the same server. If that helps, if not, give me a second. 
because I'm actually not even on SRS. You ready? Ready to copy? Or you got it? I got it. You guys hear me on 251? Right. I'm just getting loaded up. Copy. Yeah, you guys go to Cat 1 and 2, get out of here, and I'll go to Cat 3. Uh, Private, you go to 4. Copy. Yep, I'm ready to start rolling to Cat. You, you're taking. Yeah, go to Cat 1, Otis. Yep, I'm ready to roll to run to 1. Who's fucking king? Who's the fucking king? Locked on cat one, you're locked on cat. There's, yeah, cat two, excuse me, sorry. All right, wings locked down. on four. Uh, we had no waypoint one. Oh, waypoint locked. one. All right. Ready you guys are clear to take off. Down. I'm going to spool and then I'll call launch and you go three seconds later. All right, spooling, yeah. launch. Spooling, launch. Yeah, private, we'll go countdown three, two, one. I'll go on three, you go on one. Copy. All right, three, two, one. Start our climb. Go 10 degrees. Coming left to. Good launch. 341. Yeah, Private Wolf, uh, let's kind of slow down here and we'll flow in behind these guys. Copy. I'm on your right wing. Copy. Well, I will be. Just slightly off full mill. Alpha, Alpha flight, flight is off, is off the deck, deck heading, heading toward point point one. Come on, come on, left. You're double macking the fledge. Yeah, no, I've got to line it up now. Uh, level it out at uh, 342. Five degree climb. I'm pretty much right behind you. Okay, All right, Private, go ahead and uh, get your bombs ready. I mean, fence in. Yeah, you are pulling away at the moment, but I'm closing in. All right, I'm just off full meal. You should be able to catch me. All right, Private, I'm going to start a left hand turn. Just get them time to get around. Five degree off. climb. Hot. Sorry, I'm kind of heads down here. Oh, you're good. Just hot. your heads up. Do 
I'm trying to maintain uh, 300 in the box. Private, you telling me? Um, can't copy. Yep. Where are you at? Um, trailing mile back. Co altitude, right side. Oh, got gotcha. you. I got you. Telly, telly. It's been a minute since I've flown this thing. Gotta get off the fucking farm, bro. I know, but it's so fun. <laughs> All right, we're gonna level off at twenty-four thousand. Hey, Vern. Yeah, yeah probably we'll hold uh, 18 block 20. Copy. Decreasing five degree. Just right. You still trying to hold 300? Yep. Copy. Dude, why won't my fucking flare turn on? I got my switch on. Not timed out. Yeah, just give it a second. Yeah. <coughs> Alright, I got you guys on RWR. And I uh, have two unknown nails at uh, 1 o'clock. Is it air or ground? Don't know. Unknown. It's a U. Uh, yeah, I see those on my RWR. Shoot, I blew past R24 mark there, Rich. Yeah, I got the right, I kind of lost you. Uh, get your SA up. You'll be able to find me. I'm going to turn to the waypoint after this turn here. Probably. Copy. I'll slow down a little bit. 280. Yeah, we're going to slow down to about six, Mach 164 for endurance purposes. And okay. leveling out. Leveling out 15. I'm climbing up to 18,000. You want me to stay on you? Or? Yeah, stay at 18,000. I'm just uh, headed toward the waypoint. I got the 16s on uh, SA as well. Start lowering the nose here. Level at eighteen thousand feet. I'm going to throttle to about 300 and maintain that. Copy. Alright, we're 
We're seven miles from waypoint one. Copy, we are 32. Gonna blow just through it, uh, say about five miles, and then start our orbit. Copy. Okay, that is our island right off our nose, right? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna start. Yeah, I'm going to get my sensor there. down there. I'm gonna look right at the port. You said Mach 0.64, which you're running right. And that's target of opportunity mode for yes, handoff? Sir. Yes, sir. Let's make sure you set your fuse. You fuse instant. Okay, it looks like those unknowns are on the islands. Waypoint one or two? Uh, gonna be waypoint one and two. Copy. All right, I'm gonna start my, I'm gonna go into it. Right hand. Okay, Fletch, I'm off your uh, three o'clock. Okay. Co altitude. Okay. I'm just going to do a lazy left turn here. Copy. Yeah, what degree are you banking at? 15 degrees. Just start looking at the Freaking jet wash, that'd be all right. Yep, that's the trick. Is uh, okay, I see. Never mind. What I would actually suggest you do that to help as you're getting used to it, set your autopilot on your barometer altitude hold. And I'm looking at the port area, I don't see anything yet. Neither do I. Is there no narrow? There it is. Yeah, I'm top left. Yeah. Uh, make sure for now you're scanning uh, six bar. That's going to be your top left uh, button up there, and uh, yep. at least out to eighty. What's the four nine spike again? It's a ship. Oh, okay, so that's going to be okay. I thought so. Somebody uh, bombing down there. No idea. Yeah, yeah I got stuff go boom. Yeah, I saw I some saw stuff go boom. boom. Definitely some stuff going boom. Alpha Flight, this is Charlie. We've dispatched one silkworm site, uh, still searching for other targets. Uh, there's also some AAA on the harbor. Um, and we haven't seen anything from MadPad yet, but if you guys get in the area, keep an eye out, would you? Copy, Copy, we're, we're holding about, about 20, 20 miles, miles uh, from, from waypoint, waypoint one. one. Uh, uh, we're, we're still, still looking, looking for targets. targets. Roger, keep me advised. Hey, hey Kirk. Kirk. Hey, Kirk. Hey, Kirk. Hey, Kirk. I'm going to slightly increase our uh, turn rate here, Rich. I still don't see shit down there. Uh, I saw there are explosions, and that's about it. And don't worry about forming up too tight. Just make sure you stay with me and keep your head on the swivel. Yeah, they hit something way out there on that finger. Yeah. If 
Actually got eyes on a bunker on target too. Oh, I'm tallying some shit. It's like triple A. Yeah, he did say there's some triple A out there. Yeah, I see it. You see a little boat ramp along that same finger that they blew up? Yeah. You come back to the right of it. Right, right where Copy. that road ends. You Copy. got two ZSUs fixed. Yep. One on each side of them. Yep. That's all I see so far. There's a cargo ship right underneath me. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really seen a whole lot of nothing in there. I see a big ship down there, but I think that's part of the map asset. Sitting next to those triple A's. I'm just looking, trying to look along oh. that main road. Shack. What'd they hit? Those triple A's, I believe. Yeah. yeah. I don't see anything on that other finger. No, I didn't see anything out there. I looked along the town. I don't see anything over there. The east part of the town. Next to the harbor. I looked all up along that road. Didn't see shit. Okay. Charlie, Charlie Flat, this is Alpha. Be advised, we're still, we're still not seeing any, any silkworm silk launchers, launchers uh, on the uh, island at Waypoint one. 1. Roger, we're uh, continuing to scan for any additional uh, silkworm targets. We took out the air-to-air uh, -air targets and the silkworm, so assuming there's no more, we may be able to proceed to uh, secondary targets. Copy. Copy. Yeah, we're not seeing anything. anything. How many, How many uh, so did you hit, you hit on that, that finger, finger or that, or that port? port? It looked like one system, but it might have been two. I, I don't really know for sure. Um, it was at least at least one. Again, possibly two. Copy. Copy. I'm, I'm seeing, seeing three fires, fires right on there on that. In that, that little, little finger, finger but, but uh, yeah, yeah, if you're, if you're, not, you're not seeing anything, anything one more pass, pass. Go ahead and proceed to waypoint two. If you got orders remaining. Roger, we have uh, plenty of uh, we have plenty of ordnance. Copy. Copy. Actually, uh, Alpha, Alpha Flight, flight uh, strike, strike is going to move into Waypoint Two. You guys continue, continue searching search Waypoint point One. Roger. That way, we get to bomb shit. Yay! Yep. Yeah, there's definitely some uh, some things floating around there at uh, the Waypoint 2 area. It looks like about the center of the island is some sort of facility. 
it's probably not going to be part of the normal. I'd be taking a look there. Looks like over here on the, uh, what is this? It's going to be the south east side of the island. Looks like I've got a scattering of something or another. Looks like possible vehicles. And then I hadn't seen anything else. Okay. I'm going to fly uh, toward waypoint two. Uh, I've got, got a convoy F5 moving. Mills. That's going to be I can second that. about 280 from my pause. I'm turning in. I got a convoy moving on the south side, uh, east to west. South side of that uh, second island. Where are at though? Um, about the center. Hang on, let me zoom out a little bit. Correction: F five spike's going to be about. I got a helo over that island too. And they're not. They're pretty close. Oh yeah, I'm tally convoy. Tally convoy. Oh yeah, shit! I saw that F5. He's over waypoint two. Yeah, He's they low. Over waypoint two, low. Yeah, yeah, All right, they're low. We're getting down there. I just saw him in the fucking flare. No shit. Uh, so it's gonna be hard to strike these moving targets. Hold yes. on, wait one. Charlie, Charlie flight, flight. Do you have any precision ordnance GBUs or? Roger, we're on station with uh, currently five GBUs remaining. GBU twelve. Copy. Copy. Proceed, Proceed to, to waypoint, waypoint two. We've, We've got, got a convoy, convoy on, on the, the southern side, side of the island, island moving, moving east to west, west along an MSR. Uh, uh, we, we don't, don't have any ordinance strike moving targets. targets. Radar, Roger, we'll proceed. Copy, Copy stay above uh, 15,000. Uh, we uh, got we F5 got in, in the area. area. Very good. Fox 3. Fox 3. Got another target. Yeah, he yeah, was there too. Yep. Yeah. Splash one. I don't see the other. It's got to be near. Fox yeah, uh, missile launch. Missile launch. Where? North side of the island. Coming right. Breaking left. Is it surface to air? Turn surface to air. air. Okay. Did you see the poo? I did. Shit, on the, I on saw me. it on my. Uh, I'm hit. Lock onto it. Is it going to be a man pad? Probably a man pad. Yeah, I'm searching. Where did he go? Drop Flight controls. Flight controls. Seems to still be functional. You still up? Altitude. Altitude. Oh, does he still alive? It appears that way. Okay, I don't have anything. Yeah, I got no, I got no tally on him. I'm masked right now. Coming around. Okay. Ray gun. Yeah, I accidentally dipped a little too low. Never mind, that's not it. Ray gun. Ray gun. I'm hit. Fox 3. Breaking right. Another missile just went right by me. I think I've got an airplane on somewhere. Oh, I'm Tally. Tally man pad. Should be uh, northeast side. Um, Where you got it? Might not I be the same map, but I'm gonna turn it on him. Shit, I'm I'm hit bad. Altitude. You're hit bad. Altitude. Yep, I'm not gonna stay up. Hey, hey uh, uh, Charlie, Charlie Flight, Flight be advised, advised. The, cap the cap flight has been hit, hit bad. bad. So uh, watch, watch your six. six. All right, I'm almost in range. I think I might have got that second in range. One. I'm not sure. One away. Right, we have 
uh, enemy helos in the area on the west side of the island. Looks like they're patrolling around. Yeah, yeah we're tired of helos. I just, I just put, put one bomb, bomb. Uh, I got some range range for man pad. I got fuel tank, looks like some air to air or anti air. Hit it, uh, it's fuel anti -air. tank. Or go over on the. Um... Hey, Roger, that convoy has a uh, AAA on the back of trucks, so be, be advised of that. Copy, Copy just stay up high, you got to hit him with GBUs. Oh fuck! How do I hand this off again? Just like your your like when you go to lock a target. Be twice, right? Nope, just once. Damn it! That reset. That was the wrong button. No, oh, it's been way too long. Yeah. Where was your stationary AAA? Was it was it stationary or moving? Stationary. Uh, about the center of the island, there's a. Looks to be like a fuel tank Alpha depot. Flight, you guys, uh, see that fuel depot in the center of that island? It's covered by some AAA. That might be That's our primary right. objective there on this, or our sec secondary objective on this island. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a from that, that location. location. You're, You're clearing clear hot to, to hit the, the convoy. convoy. We can put a GBU, uh, a JDM on, on the stationary target. targets. Private, if you tally that stationary target, go ahead and strike it. Yeah, we'll stand by. Roger, I've got Phil going in on that convoy while I cover. No, I'm not supposed to be Copy. Talk, but Rich, make sure you're uh, taking care of Cap. I'm trying. Keeping my head on a swivel and keeping above 10,000 feet is not playing. Yeah, unfortunately, I was. Oh, I know. Um, just without having track of our or VR, trying to keep my head on a swivel and pilot the aircraft is entertaining. Well, I'll say this. You're yeah, I see that there. weapons depot and those tanks. Is that what you're going to hit, Private? Yeah, affirm. As soon as I can find it again with the map. I'll go ahead and lock it up and put one on it, too. While we're at it, for good measure. Okay, I got the target in sight. Put two bombs out there. Actually, let's do one. Fuck it. How you looking, Otis? Oh, I'm still up. Not able to spot anything, but um. Is your radar and SA page working? Yeah. Just not seeing anything. Okay. As long as you're looking. All, All right, right, one away. I don't feel like that handed off right. Two away. Well, I got one away, so there's two heads for that bunker. I'm hitting that uh, triple A. Oh, okay.
Charlie 5 advised we have two, two by, by JDMs in, in on that bunker in AAA, AAA site. site. In the center of the island. Roger. I don't feel like that handed off right. You just lock it up and that's it? Yeah, if you look in your left, your page, if you've got your mission page up on your left MFD in the JDAM display. Okay. There you go. You Good should hit. be able to move it around yeah. and. You got it? Yeah, yeah you did hit it. Okay. I, it just didn't seem like it handed over. It was too easy. <laughs> yeah. I don't think my bomb's hit yet. Hope y'all find and kill those damn man pads. I killed one. Show. Just for your information, somebody's bombed. It's probably mine, because I didn't see mine explode. Yeah, I think you're having that trouble where uh, your bombs don't. The JDAM does stupid bad. shit. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it's my favorite. I'm going to drop one on that fuel tank. I'm going to roll back in on that bunker. So the 16 is already RTB? No. Well, if they have, they haven't said shit. Formation wave. Yep, it's all just hit that. One away. One away. We'll go ahead and put it on this fuel tank, too. One away. Coming right. All right, uh, bags are empty. Okay. I'm gonna try to bomb them. See if I can <laughs> hit the targets with me. Good hit. Check. How many bombs you got left? Uh, two by. GVU 38. Copy. Do one more pass of waypoint one. I'm still not convinced we got all the silkworms. Copy. But I'm going to uh, I'm going to unlock these targets and take up a cap roll. You running yeah, low on fuel? Yeah, I've got a leak. Yeah, okay, go ahead and RTB if you need to, man. Alright. You can cycle through the different tanks. Or actually, you can go to your fuel page and see what's going on in each tank. If you need to, you can make it shut off.
I'm gonna do an elevator down to 15,000 and do a sweep. Okay, how do Copy. I shut off individual tanks? Actually, I don't think you can do it except for the external, is what I'm, uh, I'm trying to remember, and it's not something I do very often. Some birds happen to By the way, I'm looking to the left button too. Are you losing from your main tanks? No, I'm losing it from my wing. Um, it is draining out in my main tanks too, but uh, yeah, it's that fucking wing hole. If you're leaking fuel, man, RTB. RTB. Hey Phil. You set up uh tacking on the curb? He should be able to hear me. Unknown. So that's a no. Yep. Unknown. I love it. Negative. No tack in on the carrier. Well, I'll tack in for you there, Rick. It's all right. Nice at waypoint zero. That's how they're tracking the carrier. It's going to work. <laughs> of, of course, course it, it is. is. Yeah, you just one eight zero right now. That is a lag spike from hell. Still no tally on any more uh, silkworms down here near the harbor or this town. That bunker's still fucking alive. Is it really? Yeah, I've hit it with two fucking GBUs. You got to set them on a delay. That's probably true. Uh, yeah, you definitely have to. Private, you want to do that? I'm out of air ground on this. Yep, that's okay. Looks like we have somebody coming in. Uh, A lot of guns. You hit Set a delay. VT one. This off insta and VT one. Do you have any orders left? That's a firm. We got two by JDMs. We're gonna try to put it on that main bunker to the late fusion. Alright, has your objective been met yet? 
Oh, we, oh, we gotta, gotta hit, hit that, that bunker. bunker. That's it. it. We, we did, did a, a secondary, secondary scan, scan of waypoint point one, one that I found more silkworms and, and came up with, with nothing. nothing. Roger. Uh, we got that convoy stopped. There's still some AAA on it, but um, there's still a couple of uh, AAA still up. We've hit all the armor targets. The gun runs have been met with. Uh, Shall we say adverse reactions? Copy. Copy. Are you, Are you out, out of air ordinance? One away. Roger, we are, um, we have no GVUs remaining. We hit that thing with everything we had. Copy. Copy. You're clear to RTB. RTB. I'm, I'm covering, covering for, for private entity drops, drops as well. As Roger, keep us advised of his state. We'll just uh, go ahead and provide cap in the area. We got plenty of fuel still, so. Okay, I'm uh, Winchester on JDAMs, and just going to follow these in, and I am out of ordnance. Okay, I'm at 15,000 feet if you want to come meet up with me. Copy. I'm on the uh, eastern side of the island right now, five miles away out, the waypoint two. I got you on SA. Come on, bombs. Oh, I see a hit. Should be another one coming in. Oh, hit. I don't think it killed it, though. No, shit's taking a fucking pounding. All right, right off lights, lights, be advised. Be advised. We, are we are Winchester, Winchester air ground, ground munitions. We, we are all RTV. RTV. I'm coming left, private headed back toward the carrier. I'm on your six, I got tally. Awesome. Ruse, can you vector us? Yep, give me a second. You're going to be, uh, you should head uh, 174, 52 miles. 174, 52, copy. And rolling out, hitting 174. Airspeed? 330. Copy. Holding. Auto throttle. Bruce, can you give us a heading on the ship? The ship's heading? Yeah. Ship's heading is going to be heading 006. North? Yep. Q. Um, I guess Zero is going to land in Iran. <laughs> oh, yeah, we were supposed to go to uh, Joft. We all had to go back to Joft? Uh, waypoint 3. Waypoint 3 it is then. Coming left. Comcheck 251, Charlie 2, Comcheck 251. 
Catch, Catch you loud, loud and clear. clear. Fucking bunker, man. I know. Been a while, huh, Private? <laughs> yeah. Well, I was trying to trim out because my shit's pulling back. It kept wanting to climb on me. But yes, it has. Oh, we're going to waypoint. Four is dropped. Is four? I thought he said three. Which is way the fuck up there, Jesus. Maybe double check Maybe. with the uh, trailer plane. Back yeah, well, I'm flying to waypoint three. What do you guys said is waypoint three. Yeah, they just passed waypoint three, headed to four. You're 15 miles from the carrier, Rich. You need to go hard right, go directly north. I mean, hard left, excuse me. Let's push up the speed a little bit, about 350. It's going to be your 354. Push it up to uh, 400. Copy.
mean, if you get tired of flying formation for fucking 100 miles on the switch. <laughs> Where we had a waypoint four, eighty-five miles. Yeah. We'll go ahead and turn right to go there. Okay. Rolling right. And level it back out. Two five eight or two zero two eight. Ah. Shallow there, Rich. Start shallow. Did he make it? Yep. Nice. Another one wire. So this mission I just finished, <laughs> we had to do a case three recovery yeah. at night, but like a le they made us do the, like the legit case three, like muster on the 170 radio at 7,000 feet. Oh no! <laughs> we got we got a call down time, all that shit. It was Special. fucking hard as shit. What uh, squad is that? JTF one. I was nervous. I was sweating when I got done. It's like I'm in a simulator. Sweat. <laughs> it's like 70 dudes in the server. No shit. Yeah. The carrier was a fucking mess. We had guys stacked all over the place. It's kind of cool though if you get a bunch, you know, people that aren't running into you, you know, that get the fuck out of the way and park in a good spot. Yeah, but they had an actual live marshal and uh, tower guy on SRS frequencies. So you were having to check in, so they were calling people down, and it was pretty cool. But I hadn't done a night landing in this fucking thing in a while. And first time I'd done like a legit case three like that.
I need to do it again. You do it some more. Practice, practice, practice. Alright, 44 miles. Yep. Glad we brought that fuel. Fuck. No shit. I'm sitting at uh, 6.8. Yeah, I'm at 7.1. Keep waiting for an F5 to pop up on our tail or some shit. <laughs> what sort of sneaky shit Phil does. Yeah. Actually, to be honest with you, I'm waiting for them to like turn around and go nose hot on us in that 16 versus 18 battle. No shit. Yeah, it's a possibility. Because I owned them both in a dogfight yesterday. <laughs> 16s? Well, I was in the 18, they were in the 16. Zero was getting pissed. He got better though. He figured out how to beat me. He never shot me down, but sixteen is pretty fucking baller. Basically, you're in the eighteen. You're going up against a plane like the sixteen. You got to kill him as fast as you possibly can, because the longer the fight goes on, the worse your chance. Right. Sixteen can just fucking turn sharp and accelerate. Uh, well, he can hold a seven G turn at like four hundred, three hundred fifty to four hundred knots. I cannot do that. No. And uh, you'll lose all your energy if you do. Oh yeah, but and blackout. I can get. He's right about the sustained two circle fight. Well, but I two circle uh, plans. What's that? Aren't they both two circle? I can. Go ahead, Private. Aren't they both a two circle plane, two turn plane, anyways? Well, right there, yes, but when an 18 is fighting a 16, you probably don't want to do that long. You could, if your initial turn is two circle, I can get my nose on him faster than he can me and get a shot off. Yes, yeah, so you can uh, turn inside with the 18. But if I don't get that. that shot off in the first one. I'm fucked. The chances of me being able to stay with him in a two-circle fight are low. So I've got to either force him to, to go back to one circle um, or run away. Because the longer that... If he sustains his cornering speed and the Gs that he pulls, um, seven Gs with you know 350 knots, I can't, can't stay with it. He just continues his turn and pulls away. Right. That's crazy. Well, each one was purpose built. All right, we're 14 miles out. I'm looking for the airfield. I see it. All right, private, I'm going to come down on the throttle and come right. Copy. Charlie, Charlie quiet, quiet, you down? You down? Uh, not quite. We're coming for overhead break now. Runway 3-1. Negative. 1-3. Runway 1-3. 8-5. 1-3. Copy, Copy we got to go left. Oh, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. it over SRS like a fucking ding-a-ling. Is that I'm repaired and respooling. Hold on. Where's the railway again? Ah, you don't have to worry about. No, okay. Come to the left. Oh, I know. Sorry, Private. I'm right. fucking with you back there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Might as well move back to spectator. <coughs> Alright, I'm gonna turn my uh, radar altimeter on. Shoot for. 1,000 feet for the break, runway 13. 
Yeah, y'all just left my ass out there on the island. All the animals. What do you want me to do? They come pick me up or There's a helicopter. I'll jump in it. <laughs> Fly all 90, 90 some miles. Take me a fucking hour to get there. <laughs> Got me, private. Yeah, you crept up a little bit. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm holding, trying to hold 350. Yeah. I'm gonna get ready to turn right so you can cut me off on the turn. Okay. Set up for a left hand break. There you are. Sorry. Oh, you're good. I'm gonna pull a little harder to the right. Oh yeah, there it is. They're actually getting ready to swing in the 16s are. I'm, a, I'm blind on you. I'm blind on you too. Uh, stay, I'll stay left, left to center line for me. Okay. Yeah, 16s are passing under you guys now. All right, I'm gonna level off of uh, barometric three, three point two. Copy. My radar altimeter is not fucking. Are you behind me now? Uh, I'm over the airfield. Okay, I'm over there. I, I got you. I got you. Are you behind me to my left? Nope. Oh, yeah, I see you. All right, I'm gonna break. Ooh, I'll break left. Break it left. Alright, two sixteens on deck. What's the break? Private break. I'm gonna do a full flap landing. Copy. Full flapper. It's going to take them a minute to get clear of the runway. Or, well, I guess they can stay in the turnaround. They got they got time. Well, I'm saying, like, they have to go all the way back down the runway again to go to parking. That's what you're saying. Hey, guys, hey guys we're, we're on, on uh, downwind. downwind. What, what side, side of the runway, runway are you on? Guess they're not talking to us anymore. Uh, we're at the end of the runway. We'll go ahead and hold for you. You got come on in. Copy. Copy. Turn and final.
down like a rock. <laughs> tell you what though, I am curious to see how this uh, in-game voice over IP thing is. That's a good thing. Some wheels down. Oh fuck, I was in your jet wash. Ah. Weak turbulence. Wind shear. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Yeah, it looks like you're pulling it off there, crap. Kinda, that was tough. Oh, that was a hard Yeah, it was. I'll keep rolling on down. I'm definitely hoping that the this in-game voice over IP is comparable to SRS. Yeah, way. Yeah, I mean, uh, cool. Yeah, What do you say? He's, copy, gonna room. Room. he's gonna be on the left side. For those hands are cold. Or the right side of the runway. You're good. Hey. I would have actually, stopped the way the fuck back there like I was planning on. No, what would actually really be awesome though is if they let us actually use the in game radios for the uh, birds. That would be awesome. It's probably just gonna be a standard VOIP thing. No, they actually flat out stated that they're planning on adding channels and all that other crazy shit in here and adding uh, the terrain effects and all that. Oh, so you actually have to use the radios and the bird and everything. That would be wonderful. And if it's built oh, that, in, that would be perfect. Oh, yeah, that would be. I think we, if it works good, though, I think it'll be a good alternative to SRS when we can still maybe, oh. you know, do something different. And if it works good, could possibly eliminate it. Well, see, it's a smart play because if, like, say, for me, where I'm running Linux, if it's built in-game and all that functionality runs through all the emulation layers properly, or through the translation layers properly, to allow me to be able to have that same access as you guys do, then that completely eliminates the need for anybody to go crazy and create one for them. Yeah, cool. Never thought about that. Linux users. Right, I didn't even think of that either. Well, like, right now, um, it's to a point where once you do a few little small tweaks to the system to allow Lutris to run with DirectX, uh, with the DirectX Vulkan translation layers, um, it's literally click and play. Voltron. And even setting everything up for Lutris to work right takes a matter of like 15 minutes. Well, this was fun. I haven't flown a mission in a while, other than that little pop up one we did the other day. Yeah, we need to do uh, pretty often. I miss having Sunday night missions. Kind of why I haven't been on a lot, as everybody kind of seemed to have stepped away for a little bit. It was getting boring just flying the same old training server. That's where I like uh, the idea that is being used out of the, the second server, where we have a more uh, yeah. actual mission-oriented file running. So that way we can do this kind of shit throughout the entire week, but yet still also have a training server for whatever fuck around shit we And to me it's nice just to get on and fly. Like I, I, I like just flying. So it's, and also uh, it seems to be just the constant flying and handling the bird makes everything mm -hmm. better. Like you get better at everything. Oh it does, it helps. Like one of the reasons why I resisted the F-18 for so long is because I hated the way it felt. And it's kind of grown on me. Fucking easy as shit. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's better than the Harrier, except for the autopilot. 
Stop. Harrier's autopilot's just too easy. A little bit more forward, just a hair. Right there. Uh, mm. I think a little more. Yeah, a little bit more. Come right a little bit. Just a tip. Oh, too uh, much. Uh, uh, oh, you're good. Uh, yeah, like, seek your head too far ahead. And actually, y'all aren't quite designed to, like, to line up wing to wing with the 16. Either way, still pretty snacky. Yeah, and I have uh, no screenshot. I have video. All right, everybody, jump. I'll get these two guys in the alpha flight. All right. All right. So a little AAR here. All right. Yeah, all, right so all right. All right. Is I it see. just me or does Fletch kind of sound like Bill Clinton? <laughs> <laughs> I did not have sexual did relations you, um, with that one. That is I, wow. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> Dude, I just watched the uh, uh, the helos go 3 million knots. And I'm not even. Oh, shit. It just went to 10 million. And I think they lagged out or something. Yeah, I'm, they, like they're the only they things doing the it. Too. Yeah. yeah, they just engage uh, light speed, light speed helicopter. If you want to go to spectators and why it's insane, they're going literally back and forth across the entire map. Nothing else is lagging that way, way but them. K fifty sonic booms. Look at Phil's <laughs> sneaky ass putting man pads all the way along the route, just waiting for somebody to fly away. He's even sneakier <laughs> than that. What's wrong with my man pads all along the route? Holy man shit! Pads for days. <laughs> You're, oh, uh, those were enemy speedboats. I saw those boats down there, and I couldn't tell if they're fucking. It's hard to tell when they're parked in the harbor. Yeah. Well, I saw the bigger ship was parked like right next to the dock. And you like, see oh, that one a... APC ran into the water trying to escape the missiles. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> so I think we got all the silkworms, yeah? No, negative. Nope. We actually did not get all the silkworms. If you look at DR-50, just okay. northeast of the island, um, Hamaras, there's a silkworm right there on the coast. Right on the peninsula. DR-50. I don't even think they look there. It's pointing right at the... Uh... Stennis. It actually is going to fire on the Stennis here shortly. I thought it would already. It, the Stennis is within the range, but... I've been watching it for a while. I watched you fly over it a couple of times, like, looking at it. There's man pads literally everywhere. It's because all it is is a soldier with an eight fucking stinger. <laughs> I feel like they're going to... Yep. They're gonna launch that fucker at the uh, Stennis, and the Stennis is just gonna be like, pew, 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 and... "You're I'm probably gonna... right, but yeah, I want to see what the Sea Wiz does." I'm surprised it hasn't fired already. Yeah, no, that's what I was looking at. They're definitely He's fucking inside scared. the. He's pointed that way. They just entered inside the range right now. They're not too far in. He might not be able to get a good line on him. Well, no, he's got a fucking perfect line. He should be yeah, firing soon. Them almost two miles in side range to me. I've been watching it a while. It might still be too far over the horizon, though. Fifty-two miles away. Might yeah, you know that's actually uh, at fifty-two miles. It's hard to detect from that. That what's that? Probably ten foot over. Coriolis side. effect going on. Well, that fucking just... bunker. Well, I mean, you got a, it's a eight, it's eight inch per mile squared. So 10 miles is like 66 feet. So, so you guys didn't kill the uh, base too well. Still no, we three electrical box, two tanks, and the ammo depot still up. We put three, four GBU 38s into that fucking bunker and it wouldn't die. It didn't even take any damage. So it's, oh, it's 50 miles. Oh, by the way, delay doesn't work on bombs in DCS if you didn't know. Not all of them. Some do. Depends on the plane. 
it does work on the 18 or supposed to or did unless they broke it again the way i got it a hazard should get shot first oh they set the defendant y'all got attack view watch that when i go down for that gun run and fucking <laughs> look at that yeah, missile I, was watching fucking pass I saw that gun run you yeah. You shot like all the bullets when you were there. <laughs> oh, I, I still had like a hundred rounds. That's funny. All right, like, I'm oh, yep, that's guns, close tally. To end the mission. So we're good. We're good. I'm, I was more referring uh, on that gun run, I was more referring to the uh, the man pad that shot at me afterward. Oh, <laughs> that oh, I did see it. was so close. Yeah, I think that's the one I saw because I saw 